little dry wood here. Uh, sometimes it's real hard to work with, but I want to use it up. Just uh, make a spoon out of this maple. Start working on it. You're going to see some pictures when I saw him chopping away at it. But uh, we'll see what happens. Got my finger like this, but if I start doing long pieces, take your finger away from there because the shard could, could come up and get right in your fingernail. And then you kind of take it away a little bit. See, like this shard here that can come up in your nail if your finger's up here. So it's more comfortable that way and more control, but you get a long, long shard, get it out of there. This is a cold steel throwing ax. I use a lot, but I have all kinds of axes. You could do a knife too. Test your knives. Once you're having your knives, sometimes you chop. Go on the angles here so you don't ruin your profile. What you're shooting for is a functional spoon, not the most beautiful spoon in the world initially, especially all the time. Then little by little just work at it. Got all kinds of stuff here. But it's coming along. See how it goes, you know. But uh, and then I'll take a hook knife and I'll scoop this out. A teeny uh, timber jack here. Good for fire steel. Good scanning grind. Seems to work pretty good here. I have my Mora carving knife and I have my Martini Rapello knife I use a lot. But uh, seem to be working pretty good on this. So we'll uh, get to work on this. Need to come in a lot on this. Turn your knife a little bit like that, a little more control. 
slice it a little bit. handle kitchen field spoon take a look at it once in a while pull too much sometimes you'll create like a caverns in there you don't want to do that too much Just be careful with it I'm not being too careful to continue with this. So I'm basically done roughing this out. Um, does this have to be sanded? I, I sand it anyways. It's pretty smooth. You don't have to, but uh, you could. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty much done. <clears throat> I'll sand it out and I'll see how that looks. And, but. Uh, yeah, I got a little thing on the back there. I'll mark this, sand it, mark it, oil it.
probably today, I don't know if I'll post this when it's totally done, maybe at some point. But uh, yeah, basically it's good. Mostly the Hutzel's uh, hook knife on the, on the boat. A couple of things, but that for the most part. But uh, you can see the little shavings from the ball and some of the other shavings, which will all be used for uh, starting, or you know, keeping fires going. So, uh, so. So this Cuneasmo here, and uh, pretty much finished the spoon, and uh, yeah, we're all set, man. So everything's good. Got the Cheshire Ram shirt down there. Feet are good after the blistering sunburn on top of my feet. Leg is good after the injury. 95% back, exercising more. Um, Doing good. Thank God we're doing good for another day. So, peace and freedom always. You take care. Couldn't ask more fair, Rod. Right? Hard wood to, to work with there. It's maple. Huh? <clears throat> A little crooked here, but I, I may not worry about that too much. Just got to be functional. So. <clears throat> 